What is going on you guys? I am back. Uh, finally getting some more videos out there. Uh, been having a lot of problems lately with uh, computer issues and phone issues and all kinds of stuff. So I really haven't been able to record and or edit videos to upload. So now I finally can do that again, at least kinda. So I'm gonna start getting videos out again. So this video, I gotta catch you guys up on a lot of stuff. So basically I have the entire chassis wired. Um, starting to fab up the turbo kit right here. As you can see, uh, I have a bulkhead going through the firewall. That's for the chassis harness, and that runs all across here. Uh, made some nice little light brackets, and all that is powered up. Uh, this is not final. You know, so whole front section's all wired. The inside of the car, completely wired, ready to go. That is for the ECU, so that's not hooked up yet. And yes, I put a radio in it. So I did put a radio in here because sitting on grid can be really, really boring and you could be there for a long time. And I want some jams. I want to listen to some music. So I put a radio in and I put four speakers in it just because why not? So what you also might have noticed is the dash. I have a dash in there. So I cut a nice little dash out of ABS plastic. It's not bolted in right now, but it is in there and I have the switch panel all wired. You come down here, you can see the, the relay box, uh, secondary fuse panel, and all that's all ran up through there and all wired up. Switch panel all wired up. Those all go all the way along to the back. Now on the back here, I do need to finish the relay box up. This uh, isn't fully wired yet, but the inlet harness and all that stuff is wired for all the trigger wires. Uh, I just gotta run powers and grounds to it. But the whole back harness and all that is wired up. Tail lights work. Built a rear crash, or well, it's not really the rear crash bar, but I did build a rear uh, structural brace for it and a little battery box and all that stuff. So it's coming along pretty good. So it might not seem like I've gotten a lot done since last time, but realistically building that wire harness took quite a while because I did want to do it right. Uh, nothing on the car is butt connected. There's no like uh, spade connectors or anything like that. Every single connector on this car is using like OEM style Delphi connectors. So I wanted to make it very simple, easy to, ma easy to maintenance and uh, you know, easy to get new parts for if I need to. And you know, I ordered a bunch of those Delphi connectors, so if I ever need to replace one, I have a ton of them on standby ready to go. Uh, on top of that, I'm getting ready to start working on the cooling system and running coolant lines. You can see there I got uh, some nice vibrant fittings coming off that are gonna actually Y down and then run a one and a half inch line all the way to the back of the car. I also started doing some uh, sheet metal work, started working on the firewall here. Um, I didn't want to do the side closeouts yet until I have the cage built. So hopefully the cage will get started soon. Uh, it is definitely on my to-do list real, real soon here though. And another cool thing that I'm actually pretty super geeked about is I did get some bodywork for the car. And it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, I'll show you guys that. So I got this uh, front splitter here, all carbon fiber. This uh, front splitter is made by the same company that built the hood for the GTO, Sancor Composites Technologies. And I also have some carbon fiber side skirts, so those things look killer. And they weigh pretty much nothing. Dual caliper brackets. Dual caliper brackets are done. Uh, I did record the whole building process of those. So I am gonna be putting a video out for that, which will be, ba uh, it's, it's pretty much a uh, basic walkthrough of how to build a dual caliper setup. Uh, obviously it's going to be different for every application, but I show you a, a good walkthrough of how I did it on my car and that should translate over to most cars pretty easily, I'd assume. I don't know, I know if I did it on the GTO, it would have been very similar. But I'm gonna try to get that video edited soon and out to you guys, but you know, like I said, I still do have some issues with editing software and stuff like that. So we are making progress. I'm going to start putting videos out a lot more often. I'm probably going to regret saying that when I go a month and a half without posting a video. But for now, that's going to be it. 
Uh, expect an update on that turbo setup very soon. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, you know, give the video a like. And for now, that's going to be it. So I'll catch you guys later.